Hey you guys, so I don't know if you follow me on Twitter or Instagram or whatever, but lately I've been pretty down recently because I'm just sick and tired of just being alone. And what I mean by being alone, not that I'm alone in my house because I have Lily and Barry of course, but I'm talking about like when I want to, like my vacation's coming up and I have no friends like around where I live, like I, I have no one to hang out with. So it's like people ask me, well, who are you going to hang out with? Who are you going to see? Are you going to have, you know, dinner with friends? No, I don't have friends. Um, and it, this just hit me that I love people and I love being around people, but I, and Barry pointed this out as well, I expect too much out of a friendship. Like, I'm expecting people to be the type of friend I want to be, which is, like, always in your face. <laughs> but also, I've been pretty distant from a lot of people because I'm sick of getting close to people. Like, I get very close to you and then you go away or you don't like me or something. I'm afraid of being not liked. So I try to keep my distance. And when I see myself getting too close to a person, I start to back away and I get depressed because I don't want to do this. But I feel like somewhere in my mind, I don't want to be close to you. Now, I faced this problem in my actual relationship with Barry, where I was just so terrified of being too close to him and being too honest that he would leave me. And this isn't real at all. Just in my head, something up here tells me people don't really like me. And it makes me start to think people are fake. So I need to purge these fake people. So last night, I sat down and got rid of 60 friends. Friends on Facebook. And Facebook's powerful. When you get rid of a friendship on there, those people freak out. But I doubt these 60 people even know who they are and even will know that I deleted them. They probably don't give a flying F about me. They just added me because I'm someone they used to know a long time ago. And I'm tired of that. I've always hated that. When people add me and be like, we're going to hang out. And then we never do. And uh, I, I just... Just because we knew each other a long time ago doesn't mean that we'll be friends now. And also just because you knew me a long time ago doesn't mean that I'm that same person that you knew back in the sixth grade or whatever. And so I got rid of these people because I'm tired of it. I'm, t I'm just, I don't talk to you. You don't talk to me. Let's face it. We will never be friends again. Even if we were friends 20 years ago, it doesn't mean that we're going to be friends now. You know, everybody goes different places in their life. So... If you watch this video and you know me in person, you probably don't realize that I do this. And you might have been hurt by me and thought, Katie pushed me away and screw her. But when I'm pushing you away, you need to keep that line of communication open. Okay? When I'm not talking to you, keep messaging me. Keep letting me know that you care. Because when you also cut that line of communication, it makes me realize what I was thinking was true. And if you want to keep a friendship with me, sometimes you have to work. Because sometimes I get scared. So, yes, I purge 60 people. Will these 60 people realize that I've done this? No. But it'll be fun to see if they do. Um, and just remember, sometimes people don't talk to you because they're scared of getting close. I'm scared because I don't want people to go, God, get out of my face. You know, and I feel as though I'm not a great person, so I have insecurities. So it kind of makes it hard to have friendships, and it kind of makes it hard to go out and meet people. So, uh, yay, now you know a little bit more about me. So uh, stop asking if I have plans for vacation because I don't. And um, that's fine, you know. I don't have to have plans. I can do whatever it is I want, you know. Have a great day, you guys. Bye. Hopefully you enjoyed my insight because it's the truth. Just because you were friends 20 years ago with someone in high school or middle school or whatever doesn't mean you'll be friends now. And just because you're friends for 20 years doesn't mean you're going to be friends the next 20 years, you know. I just have to learn to accept to be alone and be okay with it. And I have to learn to go out and speak to people and not give a flying F what they think about me. But these things are hard.
So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully I'm not as depressing, you know? I don't know. It just happens. I love you guys.